And a very pleasant good afternoon, everyone. I'm Bob Bacosi, along with John Celestad. The former Villanova and the former Lakers guard, John Celestad, is alongside. We can now go inside the game with our very own former Laker, John Celestad. We're here at the Los Angeles Lakers practice facility before game five. We're going to go in and talk to the Lakers. Fish, explain to me how important it is for you, first of all, just to be back here in the NBA finals. Well, you know, this is a gift, man. You know, you've been here before and, and understand the dedication and the commitment it takes to work through an entire season. Well, I played against you in the finals uh, in 2000, was it 99, 2000? I think you're wearing my ring. You see, I got the yeah, ring on, right? Uh -huh. They also have to get Paul Gasol involved. Lamar Odom has to do a tremendous job, not only just in the first half, but the second half. My prediction is that the Lakers are going to win tonight, and we're going to be taking it back to Boston. We're here in Beantown, Boston, Massachusetts. Game six, the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Boston Celtics. Will the Celtics get the championship ring? Let's find out tonight. I don't think the Sixers have played bad basketball this year. They just aren't able to finish in the crunch time, in the clutch, down the stretch when big teams get it done. I didn't really think he was going to be out there much in the second half. He didn't seem to have his explosiveness, but I know from playing on a hurt ankle, sometimes it takes a while for it to get warmed up, for it to get loose, for you to get a little confidence on it. And in the end, John Wall exploded, showing you why he was the number one pick in the draft. And that's what we brought Jason Capone right. to Philadelphia for, to be able to hit some open looks. You know, not to take Danielle Marshall's play because he was the guy <laughs> making the that's open right, looks. That's right. But you know, now he's here with us. Today was Dre Day, and that should be a day of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Dre Day. I like Every that. day I want to <laughs> see a Dre Day. Andre Iguodala, Andre Miller. When those guys are on fire, I tell you what, you're going to get the victory. And the third thing, mm -hmm. Mike, we have to put away the shovels. And when I say that, I mean we can't dig those early holes. We've been down 18 points in game one and game two. No more digging. They have to hang in this ball game early on. I like that. Put away the shovel. No shovel it's baby. a no shovel attack by the Sixers tonight. They don't play a pretty game. Offensively, they don't score pretty. They run a lot of pick and roll, a lot of shake and bake. You get to the rim. But defensively, they dig in night in and night out. Final question for you. What is your level of fear with the LaSalle Explorers visiting the pavilion <laughs> tomorrow? The level of fear from 1 to 10? From 1 to 10. 1 to 10. Zero. Villanova gets the W with ease. Hi again, everybody. I'm Dave Sims with John Celestan, and tonight we get a Pittsburgh ball club looking to bounce back. You figure they may be a little bit angry this evening. Yeah, you know, Coach Dixon was very angry with the loss to Providence, so you know tonight they're going to come and try to redeem themselves against the Seton Hall Pirates. Take a look at the Star Watch, and we get one of the best players in the country, Dewan Blair and Jer Jeremy Hazel for the Seton Hall Pirates. Yeah, Dewan Blair is just a bully in the paint, double double monster, always gets it done scoring and rebounding the basketball. And Mr. Hazel has never met a shot he doesn't like. He can shoot it from anywhere on the court. Wide open, he'll tee uh -oh. it up, that's uh -oh. a three, count it. And this is what Seton Hall wants to do, they want to pressure you, they want to turn you over, and right here, they get the steal on the pressure, and then you leave the guy who just knocked one down open again, you can best believe that's money in the bank. Big East is off to some pretty good starts, John, so let's take a look now at the preseason first team and how they've gone. Well, Ashton Gibbs, one of the best scorers in the Big East Conference. As you see, Austin Freeman, he can sky and score with the best of them. And you see Mr. Kimball Walker, a straight jet with the basketball. He is scary on the offensive end. Hazel has never met a shot he doesn't like. When he comes back, Seton Hall will be better. And Corey Fisher, the best shake and bake in the Big East Conference. Kevin Jones stepping out of the shadows of Mr. E. Banks and Butler. Now he is the man. It's 12 right now. How did they do, according to you? Well, I think they did okay. You know, they really matched UConn's energy. They came out, they fought. I just think they're a little overmatched with the athleticism and the quickness that the Huskies possess. I'm telling you, Kimba Walker, so, so impressive. We know what this guy can do. Showing you it's not true. New York City guys can't knock down the jumper. I mean, you're talking about putting somebody in the blender right here, spinning somebody around. I mean, behind the back, little globe trot action right there. But that, but that was a, that was an example of where that behind the back dribble was the basketball move to make because it took it away from the defender. Exactly, not fancy just to be fancy, but fancy for a purpose. You doing anything special this weekend, John? How was your weekend? Oh, my weekend was great. Got married yesterday, man. So that was a lot of family and friends in town and. <laughs> John doesn't know about that. Well, he knows he got married. Wow, wow. he didn't wow. know about the photos. And she looks even more beautiful on camera. Wow, she's gonna be happy, man. She got some FaceTime right there. Okay. That's can beautiful. I, can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. What are you doing here tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Got to pay for the wedding. <laughs> the night after. <laughs> I mean, I'm flattered.